I am as confused as you are, Udo Lisa. I thought I wouldn't love you. Hey. I've seen her countless number of times profess her love for you. Oh. So why would she stoop so low in participating in the maiden's dance? Hey. Oh. Am I confused in your midst? Confused in my midst? Eh? Confused in my midst? Udo Lisa, you are my best friend. If I had troubles with Awele prior to this time, you will be the first person to know. Then why would she participate in the maiden's dance? I'm assuming that the love you both share is nothing but a mere fantasy. Hey. I do not know the love is a hey. sweat hey. She said it. She said what? Hey. She said it. She said that she's... She said she was tempted to partake in this dance. She said it not knowing. I know those were not her words. She said it. Oh, could you do this? Hey. No, no, no. Come on. If oh, love is sickness, hey. patient. Is to remedy.
cha 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 people of Israel the kingdom turn run run since this beautiful girl has won the dancing competition we are going to reward her accordingly she is going to be married to the first prince of Aboge kingdom, Prince Ikobi, who eventually becomes king when his father dies. You this was a pact made two decades ago by Aboge land and our community. In four market days, she will move over to her husband's land. And I know that in turn, King Ogugwa and his royal household will soar like the eagles because of the great understanding existing between the two communities. My daughter, you should be very happy today because the girls have visited your household. Please, I beg of you, not to allow them depart. Hmm. Thank you, my king. I promise not to let you and my people down. I promise. We are very proud of you. The gods will be with you. I'm gonna be wait. I'm gonna be wait. Wait, wait. Lisa, wait for what? Wait for what? Wait for what? Wait, wait, Lisa, wait for what? Yes. Wait for what? Udo Lisa, I am heartbroken. Hope you don't my mouth. The only woman I love has forsaken me over a mesh of pottage. See, Amobi, are you going to kill yourself? You can still live and love again. Mm -hmm. eh? Udo Lisa, killing myself is what I feel like doing now. No, Amobi, it's not possible. It's not possible. Remember the ties that bind. Are you going to sacrifice it on the altar of unrequited love? Obviously, some things are not meant to be. Udo, Lisa, don't say a thing like that. Don't you ever say a thing like that. You don't know Awele. I know Awele too well. She's my woman. She was cajoled into that dance. My instinct cannot lie to me. Never. It's okay. I'm not arguing with you. You are right. She was cajoled in taking part in the dance. By who, if I may ask? By those her sisters. By those her desperate sisters. Onyoma and Manari. I know those girls too well and I know what they can do. Wait though, wait. Uh, Amori. Are you saying that Manari and Onyoma coerced her in taking part in the dance? Exactly my point. You want to do a bit, Ned? No, that's not true. Exactly my point. That's not true, Amobi. It's like this unrequited lover is taking your sense of prisoner. May the gods forbid. <sighs> you don't have any intent. Do you have? If you do, prove it. Udo Lisa. Obviously, you're talking out of experience. You don't know what is love. I am in love and I know what I'm feeling. And I know what I'm saying. As for those girls, they are not different from proverbial witches who seek nothing but people's misery and downfall. The earlier you believe me, the better for you. Honestly, this is a tall one. See, Amobi, the God that is in spirit and cause all things to ultimately work for our good. We perfect all this. Believe me. Udolisa, leave the gods out of this one. Leave the gods out of this one. It is man-made. It's obvious we are not in the same level of reasoning. I am talking about love. You are talking nonsense. If you know what is love, you will not be talking to me. You will not be talking to me. I'm over. Let's stop that. I'm over. I'm over. Say stop that.
Where have you been? I've been inside. Doing what? <sighs> Trying to console Awele. Her tears have spoken more words than her mouth could utter. I feel for her. I'm beginning to see Awele's short-sightedness. Why is she so bent on marrying that low life, Amobi? She should be jumping and thanking the gods right now for presenting an opportunity for her to become the wife to the prince of Aboge. Anyway, I don't blame her. I blame the gods for not finding me worthy to match the winner. Manari, the favor of the gods and the good luck charm is still in our family. That's the point. That's why I was forcing her to take part in the competition. It was as if the gods whispered to my ears or blessed me with a third eye and adorned my beauty like that of the queen of the coast. Manari, must you boast of your beauty every now and then? Don't always flatter yourself. Allow the men in your life to do so. Are you jealous? Jealous? <laughs> I will be jealous of my sister. All I'm saying is we should go and console our little together. Losing a loved one can dig a deep hole in our heart. Hmm? And I mean, truth be told, I feel for her. Awele has no life or anything to gain from that never-do-well hunter. At least, we are going to leave this is rocky kingdom, where we are being seen as cockroaches and millipedes simply because we do not have parents. Going to Aboge land is the beginning of a new phase of life for us. A win for our willing is a win for us all. <laughs> you think so? I know so. I am so overjoyed. <laughs> I bet you have no idea. <laughs> Awele, I know you tried, but the gods have decided to favor you. You are the chosen one. I feel I am betraying a movie. It's been my solace and soccer. I do this to him. What are you saying? Whatever it is that the gods have planned for you will surely come to pass. That's an age-long belief. You need to be strong. You are the verge of becoming someone great. Where there will be no pain, no deadline, no ultimatum, no hunger. What happens to our movie? What happens to our love? There are a thousand and one maidens that Amobi can choose from in this land. You were created to dine with royals and kings and not paupers and never do wells. You should be thanking the gods for giving you a higher table to feast on. You are a golden child. Manari, hold your words at bay. Will destroy something. Oh, yeah, man. I know. But the truth is better told than not said at all. Look at me. Think. Think. Think about yourself. Think about us, your sisters. Think about the promise we made to our dying mother to protect each other's best interests. Think. 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 You have only four market days. The decision is yours to make. <laughs> What's going on? What is happening to us? Why are you hanging me in the space? 
All of a sudden, I found myself in the middle of nowhere. You promised me love. We promised each other here. Even the gods was going to bless our fruitful union. Why did you have to participate in the maiden dance? Knowing fully well I existed. Why? What have I done? What have I done? My only crime was love. Please, Amubi. I am losing my mind. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. There is something. We can do something. Yes. I need your love. I need our love. But then again, my sisters made it known to me that that love is not enough. Our love doesn't mean anything to you. Our love doesn't mean anything to you. No. I am grieved. I am bitter. I never knew you would fell for your sister's magnition. Oh, really? Why? Why? Even in this dynasty, no one chooses a friend to his or her family. When friends forsake you, you embrace your family. They are the only people who support my pain. Oh. <sighs> and when family fail you, you embrace that, I presume. Amobi, I know I do not owe you any justification whatsoever for my actions. But... But what? But what? Have your sisters taken you as a sacrificial lamb? Sisters make sacrifices for sisters. Amobi! Awele! Awele! This is how I am going to miss Awele, my love for life.
I love you. My woman. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, you know what? What? I'm happy. Leave me alone. Um, my woman, your beauty transcends a cloudless sky. Your voice sends shivers to my spine. And your eyes? That is where the secret lies. <laughs> it drowns me deep in love. I found love. I found you. And with you, I am complete. <laughs> what more could I have wished for? Your love is like the wind. I can't see it, but I can feel it. <laughs> oh, I can feel it too, my love. <laughs> my beautiful woman. Ah, your love can make a man go down on his knees, <laughs> begging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry, eh? Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <sighs> you got another one? I did, though. And this one is very big. It's very big. <laughs> and I'm preparing it for you. For me? For you, 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 and only you, my heart <laughs> rose. <laughs> You're such a good man. Uh, oh, I am happy to be with you. Ah, uh, you can say that again, <laughs> my love. Have a seat. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, let me finish it off. You like the head? You like the How head? How you doing? I'm fine. You like the head, right? Yeah, I like it. Mm. Okay. Ah. Amobi, Amobi. Mm. <laughs> cut, when you cut it, I'll take the head. No, you're not taking the head. You take the head. Oh, you take everything. <laughs> take everything. I'll not take it. Ah. Oh. My love, I'm how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. 
My dear sister, this is not a death sentence, but rather it's a promise for a better tomorrow. You are not alone. Who? We will go with you there and stay with you until you're strong enough to carry out your wifely duties to your husband. I am, uh, yes. I am not crying because I will be getting married to a prince who I have not seen in my life. No. And I am not crying because a stranger is going to stare at my neck. In a strange land. <laughs> oh, your mind, I am crying because of the people I'm going to leave behind. <sighs> My sister, the gods are wise. I believe the gods, in their magnanimity, have given you this luck. And I know it will shine forth to us, your family. It is important to have a lot of clarity about how you want your life to turn out. Hmm? Stop crying and, 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 and have a hold of yourself. The women and some men are coming to bid you farewell. Okay? Stop crying, please. You're making me cry. Please, I will leave. Stop crying, okay? We will go with you.
I'm trapped in this world Now I cannot leave Someone please Save me please Help me please Cause I need to see the I need light. to see the light oh, Help me oh, Help me see the light I want to find my way Help me oh, I need help to you. see the light Where my daughter? Okay. Who can't go for that? Hmm? This road leads to Aboge land, yes. the land of your husband. Yes. You've heard all that the king has said, and ours too. Be a good wife to your husband and to others. The gods will bless you and fulfill your marital bliss. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> um, Manari and Onyoma. Do take care of your sister. Make sure you instill in her good thoughts about marriage. And also make sure you come back as soon as she settles down into marriage life. Do you understand? Nice, Obi. We have heard you. Thank you so much. We will try our best. And we promise not to disappoint our people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my bag, my bag. <laughs> I'm lost in the dark, cause of the things I did. Thought it was all in the past. Now it's hard to me. It burns in my heart. Now I cannot breathe. I'm trapped in this world. Now I cannot leave. So please save me, please. Help me, please. Cause I need. Wait here for a while. I am tired. I am too. I suppose we look for somewhere and rest. Ah, I didn't know Abogelan is this far. The sun is even scorching. Ah, it is no longer far. Now we've got into Ubomiri stream. Eh? Meanwhile, I am pressed. Let me look for a secluded place and relieve myself. Oyama, please don't waste time. You know we have to get there early. I won't take long. I'll be back. Hurry up, then. Let's go and look for a place and sit down. She shouldn't waste our time. To get there and see what it looks like. Oyama better be fast. Hmm. Same here, she should not waste our time.
look at her and nobody sister my foot so this girl is going into a royal family while I'm here still falling head over heels with my stupid man may the gods forbid I can't see myself calling this cricket princess a bastard the daughter of a scarlet woman who littered her temple misused and abused her body What do I do now? What do I do? Manari, you have to act fast. Yes. Um, I will. Mm? I need to go down to the Ubo Miri stream and see what it looks like. Eh? Besides, oh. I need to feel the coldness of the stream. The sun has been really hot. Let me go with you. Okay. okay. daughter of my father what have you done you drowned your sister where is that bond of sisterhood that we shared where is the love manari why did you push her into the stream oh you've killed me You've killed the people of Izuoke Kingdom! She is not my sister. She is not your sister. She is not our father's child. Why would you kill someone, Haji? Or the gods have not killed? Why would you use something our late mother I am told us in confidence before her death? And the next you used to kill Oele! Why? I'm tired. My children. I'm dying. No, mother. Please be strong for us. 
Be strong for your daughters. Mother, we need you. This is an inevitable end. We die to live and live to die again. Promise me one thing. What is it, mother? You will take care of your adopted sister. Adopted sister? Oh, oh, mother, who is our adopted sister? How oh, well. Uh, what? Hmm? Yes. She's a child I picked up far away from here. Distant place. Her mother, an immoral woman, gave birth to her and left her in the bush to die. This is the secret I have long buried with your father. How could you, mother? How could you and father keep such a secret from us? How could you? Some things are better left unsaid. But three things that can't be hidden for long. At the sun, the moon, and the truth. May the gods May the gods and protect you all. I see. May the gods protect you too. Out of jealousy, Aurelie was a peaceful and loving sister. She was with us during our tribulations. Why did you drown her? You said you would have had to look at you right now. Why can't you read between the lines? Why can't you? Aweli was at the verge of becoming someone great and all we were going to do was cheer her up to becoming a princess. And I knew the moment she becomes a princess, her true colors will come out. She will start ordering us around. I foresaw this and decided to take a quick action to stop it. I did this for you. I did this for us. No. You are my sister, <laughs> my blood, from my father's loins. <gasps> when her jealousy becomes so stronger than the bond of sisterhood formed from the love and blood of a mother. She is not our blood. <sighs> Family is not always defined by genes. It can be maintained through love. 
She did nothing! Her predetermined fate earned her a good home as ours. However, mother came to her. It was a miracle from the gods to her. Mary! Mary! Mary, you killed me! Ah! Your chase, eh? Your I am so happy. <laughs> Today, my son will behold the face of his bride. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I am also very happy, Your Highness. I watched him throughout last night. He looked kind of tense and nervous. Though I understood his apprehensions, I know is that of how his bride to be, coming from his rookie client, would look like. I know that. Is what is all about, <laughs> Your Highness. Yeah, I love my son so dearly. I know. <laughs> Make them always happy gladdens my heart. I have a huge plans for both of them, and when the time is right, I will avail those plans. <laughs> Long live your highness. Mm. Long live the king of my youth. <laughs> Everyone in this kingdom adores you. Your highness is not because you are the king, but because you are a great lion with lots of wisdom that knows no bounds. And long live the king of my heart. <laughs> my rising son, <sighs> the wife after my own heart. Mm. <laughs> you are so good with words. <laughs> Don't flatter me, your highness. Even the subtle fur <laughs> that engulfs the lamb can uncover the devouring claws of a lioness. Is my wife. You are a lioness. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. We cannot go back to his rocky kingdom without Awele. We can't also go to Aboge without her. So I came up with this plan. Since this is a blind marriage and the royal family in Aboge does not know what Awele looks like, I will present myself as the wife to be to the prince and you. My maid. What? May the gods forbid. It is bad enough that I wasn't able to save her from your devilish ploy. But being a part of this plot. Take on her identity and become the wife of the Prince of Aboge. Never! Leave me alone! Think. Think. Now! Don't you dare tempt me. My conscience will never live with this deadly lie. Ha, 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 ha. 
your conscience, right? <laughs> if I do wrong, do you think she would love me? Why not? Who wouldn't fall in love with a breathtaking young man like you at first glance? You have all it takes to nail the heart of any maid into the mast. The gods have structured everything in you in the right places. Your eyes, your nose, your hands and legs. Of course she will love you. You think so? I know so. I know your worries. You do? Yes. You're wondering if she's going to be beautiful and perky. You're wondering if she's going to be loving and attractive. Good day, my friend. Good day. Yeah. Well, you see, even in history books, in the ancient dynasty, the women of Izuroki have always been equated with goddesses of the sun. Don't worry about anything, my prince. I can assure you that she will be a virtuous woman. I hope so. I really hope so. You have nothing to worry about. Marriage will be good on you. It has done wonders for princes from other villages. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> of course you can't wait. <laughs> What's that? Two princes. I just hope the very fair one is my husband to be. I haven't even gone close to him, and my whole body, spirit, and soul is attracted to him. Manami, you better shut up. Let's just go on with this devilish lie you created for yourself. For us. My conscience will forever prick me. I feel like a stooge and an accomplice of this impending crime. Like you said, let's just go with it. Listen, put a smile on your face. They are going to welcome the new princess of Abogeland. Smile! <laughs> That's it. My queen, I, I am Manari, the one who won the dancing competition, <laughs> and this is my maid, Oyama. <laughs> um, greetings, my king. <laughs> greetings, my queen. You're welcome. even possess what it takes to stare at my nakedness. I knew it. May the gods forbid a weakling as my husband. Manary, 
What is it that bothers your heart? There is trouble. Trouble? With whom? Prince Ikobi. Prince Ikobi, your husband. What happened? You don't like him? Not really. I think he's a weakling. I don't believe you. Men of Abogi are known to be fighters. Men who can face a thousand real danger unafraid. This is not about his physical prowess. His groin is weak. Manari! You have already consummated with him. Yes. I needed to test the sexual strength of my husband. And he is so not it. I think I prefer Prince Ifedura. He's the one that first struck my eyes when I got here. Shh! Don't even start with this. We have a lot on our plate already. Don't make it worse. And when did you become a she got in heat? When? I am Princess Manari, wife to the heir apparent to the throne. My libido should be of utmost importance to everyone in this palace. Manari, get a hold of yourself. Remember this is a charade. Remember also that in this chariot, you are my maid. You have no right whatsoever to question my decision. Leave my presence. Now. Greetings, my queen. Greetings, my princess. How was your night? My night couldn't be better than it was. And where are you headed? To the village stream. That's good. Um, Buchi? Yes, my queen. Azuka? Yes, my queen. Mind where you take the princess to. Let nothing happen to her. Is that clear? Okay, my queen. You can go, my dear. Uh, thank you so much, my queen. Once I return, I'll come and see you in your chambers. I will be waiting. But you have to be careful, okay? I will. Uh, be careful, my dear. My early morning sun. <laughs> Gucci.
What did you just say? I said, eh? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Huh? Are you too big to refer to me as your princess? Or are you too grown to call me your highness? Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry, my princess. It won't happen again. Leave my presence this minute, right now! I said leave my presence this minute. Okay. Stop there. Both of you. Get back into the palace. Tell the guards to go ahead of me to the stream. And anyone they find in there, they should tell the person that I, Princess Manary, wife to the heir apparent to the throne, wants to take my bath. Yes, my queen. Move. Run. I say run. Manary. Rubbish. What are you doing? It is too early to be proud. Why did you just slap her? It is bad enough that you stole someone's identity, but to compound it with this power tussle is totally unacceptable. Shh. We're still around the palace. I believe respect and loyalty should be earned and not demanded and enforced. Remember, pride is at the bottom of all great mistakes. You're misfiring, my dear sister. You always misfire. Pride is when your head is high up there with all other heads bowing to you. It takes only courage to achieve that. I am lifted. I am Princess Manary. <laughs> Let's go. Where are the scars? Oh, come with me if you don't mind. And where are the guys? Onyoma, why did you have to allow yourself to be led into such an abominable act? Why did you do this to someone who calls his sister and someone who calls your mother, mother? I'm sorry, mother. I was helpless. I was traumatized and unguarded. Not knowing what to do. My heart has been torn to shreds. The cry of Awele deprived me of peace in the great beyond. And your father is enraged. He is so angry and disappointed that I divulged the secret of Awele's paternity. Mother, I was not the one who pushed her into the stream. I was not the one who killed her. I know you're innocent. But you see, since you caved in and became part of this suspicion and charade, you have now become her stooge. You must confess. CONFESS!
my king you sent for me. Yes. I hope all is well, my king. Where is my son, Ikobi? I have not seen him of late. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Your son is lost in love. He is busy parading himself around every other day. I, I will call it youthful exuberance, my king. Mm. I see. I do not blame him. I have seen his disposition of late. It is clearly the picture of a prince in love. And uh, I am happy with him. Yeah. I can vividly remember the first time you came to my wife. Oh. That was exactly how I felt. My king. And that happiness still lingers in my heart and uh, you have not lost your touch. <laughs> my king, you have not lost that same touch either. <laughs> Can I say that again? <laughs> oh, my king, mm. oh, well, uh, the king of my youth. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> My prince. Oh, Manari. The rising sun, like Ochezo, will call you. <laughs> How are you? I'm very fine. I thank the gods for breaking the morning for mere mortals like us to see. Sure, sure. We are indeed grateful. We are. <laughs> um, so, where are you heading? My chambers. If not for what people will say, I would have followed you to your chambers. I'm giving you a soothing massage of your life. You're so handsome. And I'm very sure the gods must have blessed him with a good stick in between his thighs. <sighs> Is everything okay? Um, I'm fine. I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Manari, I'm, I'm sorry, my princess, can we leave now? Butch, have you noticed? There's something about Princess Manari that doesn't seem to sit well with me. Yes, ma'am. Her eyes, they don't lie. Yes! That of hers and Onyoma. Could there be some kind of conspiracy or something? Not that. I meant her eyes always darting at Prince Fedora. Could it be she's interested in him? No, I don't think so. Who wouldn't love Prince Ikeobi? He's fun, loving and a caring man. Please forget women. We are complicated creatures. Well, I won't still drop my views about my recent observations. So, what are your observations? Azoka. I've been so long in this palace not to notice a flickering eyes, especially one with a deep-seated affection. As for the Onyoma girl, I'm still to find out about her. For now, it's just the normal nightmares she keeps having, which is a normal thing. Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Let's allow the old woman with scald in her eyes to find out. Let's be going.
What's happened? I mean, what's happened to us? You barely allow me to touch you, and you don't even touch me either. My husband, please. I'm a very practical person. I don't want to start what I cannot finish. Please. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about the last time, okay? But see, I promise this time, I'll be, I'll be stronger, okay? I'm feeling sleepy, please, next time. Come, 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 come here, come here, come here, you fools. Huh? Please, who is a fool? Me or my friend, Uzoma? Both of you are fools. Mm. For mm. walking past Princess Manari, the future queen of Abuge land without greeting or prostrating <laughs> before me. <laughs> Who's this cricket? I don't know if she exists or has existed for a decade. I don't know. <laughs> me? Cricket! In my husband's land. I see. Mm. You are the motherless wife of Prince Ikubi mm. from uh, Izuroke mm. She's the one. <laughs> she, she's the one. I see. <laughs> absolute power corrupts absolutely. My dear, if you know what is good for you, it's better you come down from that high mountain you think you are. My dear, let's, let's get out of here. Let's go, my friend. Let me no, tell no, you. No, 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 this no. is the bad part of a blind marriage. You don't know what is coming yes, to you. No. <laughs> Let's yes. go, my friend. Let's get out. Zoma and Oji will be dealt with for daring to make fun of you and call you derogatory names. Is this the price I pay for love? Is this the price I get for getting married to you? Is this it? Where worms of the earth will call me names and look down on me? Don't worry, my princess. I will set an example with those two so they know what it means to be a blue blood.
Your hot water is ready, my princess. Okay. Let's do the washing. Come here, come here. You want to cook? About to. Take that from her. Get down, do the washing. But your feet are clean. Hurry up, don't waste my time. Can you take it easy? Will you remove the bead from my leg? Stupid. You have a really nice voice. What's your name again? Uh, my name is Oyinye, my prince. I really must commend your very melodious voice. You almost sang like a hummingbird. Thank you, my prince. I love good music. It's that part of my life that I intend to explore. It's like a soul food for me. It takes me to a whole new world where there are no worries, assignments, and deadlines. That is good, my friends.
Who is Awale? Where is my maid on Yama? My princess, I don't know. You what? You, you, you what? What do you mean you don't know? What were you brought into this palace to do? You think you're just here to fan me and wash my feet? Is that it? Azuka, where is Onyama? My princess, the last time I saw her, she was at the back of the palace singing. Moments later, I, I went to look for her, come and eat with us, but she was no longer there. She was no longer there. Hmm? She was no longer there. And all of you call yourselves my mates! supposed to keep a close watch on me. Where have you been? I am tired. I'm very tired. Must I go with you everywhere? And how long are we going to continue with this ruse? For as long as possible. Until I am able to win the hearts of everyone in this palace and take over. Take over? Yes. What do you mean? I am a strong girl and I'm equal to any challenge whatsoever. My plan is to orchestrate something that will catapult my husband faster to the throne and I become the queen. No, Manari, no. You have to be careful. That your head is deep in water doesn't make you a good swimmer. It is when you try jumping in with a backstroke to be forewarned is to be forearmed. The mystery surrounding royalty in our border kingdom is beyond comprehension. And before I forget, I have been having series of nightmares of recent. Mother and Aurelie have been besieging me. Manari, Manari, I'm losing my mind. Oh, yeah, ma. <laughs> You worry too much. Dreams are mere representations of the subconscious. They have nothing to do with reality. Stop disturbing yourself. Manari.
My princess, your food is ready. My friend, will you get away from my presence? Uh, no, no, no. Try. It's not my thing. Just try. Give it a try. It's easy, yes. Forgotten how we got here. Do you want us to get busted? Eyes are flickering and tongues are beginning to wag. What are you talking about? You parade the whole palace with Prince Ifediora singing and dancing for him. These people are not stupid. They are not dummies, they are wise. Anyone seeing both of you would think you are love pets. Prince, even in all the folklore and folk tales, no maiden has the audacity or gods to frolic with a royal prince. Prince Ifedira asked me to sing for him, and I did. That is all there is to it. Don't go close to him. Don't sing for him. Don't dance for him. If we get caught, the same treatment will be meted out on both of us. Manari. If I may ask, what are you up against? I am up against us being found out. Use your tongue to count your teeth. Are you sure? Hmm? I have told you my own. Stop insinuating rubbish. Leave my presence. Leave. I'm leaving. You see, there's something about her. You know, I can't really place it, but there's something about her that endears me to her. She's more like reserved, you know? That's good one. You mean like a wife material? Come on, I don't mean that. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> She's just my friend. All right? Your friend. Could this be love? Hold on, my friend. Because I never heard of you talking about a woman before. Mm -hmm. You're fond of her, admit it. When the heart lies, complication set in. And remember, masters of the heart, there's no child's play. Yeah, but. The... No buts. What are you afraid of? Hmm? Love is beyond just gazing into each other's eyes, but looking outward in the same direction. Feelings are not reserved for misfits. Okay? I'll think about that. No, I'll think to think about my brother. Follow your heart. Life is too short to be sidetracked to what everyone else wants you to do. Yes, she's a maid from Izuroke. But love does not discriminate. What? Are you serious about this? What's the matter? Why the vehement surprise? Um, nothing. No, not, nothing really. I'm, I'm, I'm just dumbstruck. Dumbstruck? Why? What 
does royalty mean to your brother? Why would he condescend so low to want to marry a maid, a nobody, a girl with no background, a slave that I picked in his rocket kingdom, washed out of her infirmities and made her my maid? She is not from a good background. It is quite different from Izuroke. Here, we marry for love, not for social strata or background. Here, a royal blood protects his or her interests, be it animate or inanimate. That's why we have the tradition which says that a blind marriage is the lot of the firstborn prince of Abogi. How do you mean? I knew you were not a royal blood before I married you. To us, love surpasses everything. You should be happy for your maid and pray to the gods that everything goes well for her. <laughs> May the gods bless her union. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Kindness, they say, secures the king and his subjects. With kindness, the throne is secured. Those are the wise words of my father. I have always known him to be a noble man. I respect him so much. Okay, so... I feel sorry for everything. I wish I could turn back the hands of time and start living all over again with my parents and my sister I will leave. My path has come to an end. Great darkness covers my eyes. I pray for someone to whisper this abominable act. But I'm standing alone. I will wherever you are, just know I love you. Onyoma, what are you doing here all by yourself? The queen gave us a task. Why didn't you partake in it? Nothing. For how long will you continue like this? Actually turned into the worried version of your old self. Unyoma, you can talk to me. Or better still talk to Azoka. Yes. We are your fellow maids in this palace. You can talk to any one of us. 
And the scars have the strange part to remind us that the past is real. I don't understand what you're saying. But unfortunately, time is ticking. The hours are going by. The past increases. The future recedes. Possibilities decreasing and regrets mounting. I, I, on your mind, I'm lost. Please let me into your world. I. I you. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, my prince. I, I'm, I'm sorry, my prince. Is everything okay? It could be, please. I need to be left alone now. I'm so happy for your man. <laughs> Prince Fedor has fallen head over heels in love with her. Hey, she's lucky. Eh? Just yesterday she stepped her feet into this palace. Well, love does not discriminate. Yeah. Um, did you notice Princess Manari's jealousy over them? Of course I do. I do. <laughs> well, she's a nobody. Hmm? She can't stop the flow of things between them. If she likes, let her go to Wangene River and drown herself. My dear, love is sweet, oh. I can't wait for my ideal man. <laughs> I don't even know how he's going to look like, but I would like him to look like Prince Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chimo, 
Why don't you get clay and sand and mold this your unseen idol man? Oh, my dear. Oh. Your Highness, who could have done this to me? Who stole the expensive bracelet? Is this the new era in this palace? Do we now have thieves here? Who could have stolen the expensive bracelet I have been saving for King Ikoku's son's coronation? Who is he or she that wants to make mockery of me before other queens? Who is he? Calm down. It is okay. I will see to the bottom of this. I promise you. Just calm down. It's so disheartening to hear this kind of news in my palace. What has my queen done to deserve this? Where has she gone wrong? Of all her bracelets, why the new ones? What? By the way, where is Ekena and Amaka? Amaka was sent to the market, my king, and... Ekena was asked to accompany her. I see. You. Such everyone's heart. Bags and what have you. And believe you me. The culprit will be severely punished. And I will use my royal decree. To punish him or her severely. Mercilessly. My king, I found the bracelets in this bag. Ah, your Majesty. Oh, your Highness. Who owns the bag? Who owns the bag? Oh, your man. Oh, your man. Uh, ah, my king, I am innocent. I, I, I don't know how the bracelet got into my bag. <laughs> if you are innocent, how did this bracelet get into your bag? I have no idea. Ah. Yes! My king! My king! My king! Take her and lock her up. Better still put her in the ditch. Hey! We have faith in this. What have you done? Oh, what have you done? 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 Leave them down now! Leave them down now! Leave them down now! I should have done a personal check on her before carrying her as my personal maid. Hey, I'm sorry. Is it a crime for someone to help the less privileged? Is it a crime? Hey, oh Yama, you have disgraced this rock kingdom. You have disgraced this rock kingdom. You have. Oh my oh, oh yeah. May the gods forbid. Huh? Onyoma strikes me like a gentle soul that can't even hurt a fly. Not to talk of stealing Queen Ochesa's bracelet. This is too bad. I pray that King Ogugua temper justice with mercy this time. I knew Onyoma had something up her sleeves. She always behaves strange all the time, so I'm not surprised. Now the question is, what is she doing with the Queen's bracelet? Is it to wear it outside the kingdom or to sell it at Mpo Market? Which one? I'm surprised. Huh. Poor Onyoma. But I'm really feeling for her. Feel for it, thief. Yeah. She but deserves she... what she got. All I see now is the face of a pretender and a liar. And may the gods forbid. Buchi! Buchi and Azuka. So you people are here. The queen requires your presence. Yeah. I thank the gods. 
Yahit nefis. My princess, my king, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Since this ugly incident happened here today in the palace, my heart has known no peace and my soul has been troubled. Oh, your man is my maid. But I didn't know she is a thief. How am I supposed to know <laughs> even in his rocky kingdom where I come from stealing is a crime and it goes with severe punishment talk more of stealing from a royal blood I have come to wash my hands clean whatever it is that you want to do with her, do it. <sighs> My queen. <sighs> I am sorry. <laughs> I am so, so sorry for this sad incident. <laughs> I am sorry, please. I'm sorry to have brought Oyama here as my maid. <laughs> and she got here only to end up dragging my name in the mud. It's okay, my dear. Get up. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It's not your fault. But she will, will have to face the consequences of her actions. I know it's not your fault, my dear. It's okay. <laughs> Tears be wiped away. 
please don't let us weigh you down. Let's just hope that father will change his mind. You do not know how I feel. I, I am broken. I, I, I am broken. I am shattered. I am distraught. Then, my prince. I am yet to believe that an Onyoma is a petty thief. If this is a dream, I just want to wake up. Looks can indeed be deceiving. But she has to be strong to face this. You know, the first time I mentioned your involvement with Oyama to my wife, Maneri, she was vehemently against it. But now, I see why. My dear brother, you have to love and live again. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Is it possible that Onyoma was wrongly accused? Wrongly accused? By whom? Who would want to commit such a suicidal attempt? Listen, you should let justice run its course. Sister, oh. I told you, I told you that playing with Princess Manari is like playing with Python, but you called my bluff. Manari. I am the Python and my venom incurable. Why did you set me up? And so what? I did not set you up. Let us say the gods decided to expose you. You are not going to come out of this alive. So, when you get there, say me well to father, mother, and Awele. I, Manari, I am the last of the strong ones. <laughs> oh, how has the mighty singing girl fallen? Oh, you are not only going to say goodbye to Prince Ifedora, you are also going to say goodbye to life. And he, don't even try to point accusing fingers at me or tell anyone about our plot. Because no one will ever believe you. You're a liar. Oh, and a no. No one believes a liar. Ah, <laughs> uh, Goodbye. Goodbye, young man. Manari. Goodbye. Manari. Till we meet to part no more. <laughs> Don't leave me here. Ah, uh, my prince. Uh, um, I understand how you feel. Some days are like this. You know, when you completely trust a person fully, without any doubt, you end up with one of two results. A person for life or a lesson 
for life. I buried myself under darkness and refused to wake up pretending it is night. I didn't see any reason to wake up. I have known right from the onset that one who wears a mask cannot wear it so long and forget that she was still the person beneath it. That worm of the earth does not deserve you. She is a liar and a thief. She doesn't have any reason to come close to the royal house of Aboge. Do you know I confronted her just now? And she said she wasn't sorry at all about all that happened. <sighs> a woman who is not remorseful is deadlier than a cobra. Is this how I'm going to be killed while Manari sits and conquers everyone with her lies? Sugar coated tongue and charade. I feel so debased for agreeing to go on with this ruse on the detriment of my conscience in the first place. I have to say the truth. I should never be afraid to raise my voice for this truth. Even if it is the last thing I do to appeal Aweli and my mother's spirit, I will do it. You, yes? Where are you taking the food to? My, my princess, to speak! The, to the dish where your mind is confined. Are you stupid? Are you out of your mind? On whose permission? No. Said, give, me, give, me, give me that food. Get busy. Look for something and be doing it. I'm sorry, my princess. The ditch, indeed. Hmm. If you had told me that you wanted a bracelet, I would have gone to Unquan Market to get you one. Even ten if you wanted. Why did you have to stoop so low to steal? Why? I pray. <laughs> I swear with my life. I swear with everything I hold dear. I did not steal the queen's bracelet. <laughs> this is the handiwork of Manari. <laughs> she set me off. What do you mean this is the handiwork of Manari? Why would she want to set her maid up? What does she stand to gain? <laughs> I am not her maid. <laughs> I am her younger sister. <laughs> What, what do you mean you're not her mate? Yes. <laughs> she thinks huh? I am going to be a threat to her. I'll spill her secret. <laughs> what secret are you talking about? <laughs> Manari is not the real wife of your brother. She never won the dance competition. I will lay won the dance competition. And due to her jealousy and wickedness, on her way coming here, yeah, she pushed Awele into the river and she got drowned. <laughs> and then she cajoled me into playing along with her ruse of claiming to be the real wife from Iziroke Kingdom. 
And me, I made. I knew I wasn't fit to live with this guilt forever. I had always wanted to tell you, my prince, but I lacked the courage to do so. Who is this Awale you speak about? She was our adopted younger sister. This is the secret I have long buried with your father. How could you, mother? How could you and father keep such a secret from us? Please, my queen, forgive me. She led me to walk through the dark. I knew I needed to say the truth. And I know that one day it will set me free. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my friend. My friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! I knew it. I knew that there was something wrong about that imposter, Manari. I knew it! You will dance in the presence of all queens of our neighboring communities. They would like to watch and see your dancing poems. And that which the gods has blessed you with. They would like to see that beautiful jigida on your waist move to the rhythm of the music that made you emerge as the winner in Israeli kingdom. My queen, I'm, yes. I'm not feeling too fine. I'm, I'm sick. And you know, dancing takes a lot of energy and determination. I know. Uh, for me to be able to dance really well, I, I, I don't even know if I am with child. Uh, okay, my queen, we will just keep this for now and, and fix it some other time. I understand, my daughter. If you say so. But I will pray to the gods for you to have a quick recovery. Thank you so much, my queen. Get well soon. Thank you. How come no one noticed it? How come nobody saw through her chariot? Women are very strong. A woman's heart is as deep as a sea of secrets, binding her to chains of suffocation of her insecurities. She will never go unpunished for deceiving me. How wicked was the nose that it could not pick such wicked smell? How? And to think she set up her innocent sister. She's deadly. And what a wicked word. Here she comes, the witch I call a wife. You murderer! Where is our wife? Awele. The one you pushed yeah. into the river and cajoled my love into playing along with your charade. The one whose identity you stole! The one that goes in their magnanimity has chosen to dine with us and not you! Get her! I thank the gods for exposing her. This indeed will serve as deterrent to people with insatiable quest. The penalty for this is death. And she will be stoned to death. For one who kills another shall also be killed. This is the will of the gods. 
Thus, take her away. This is where it all started. Awele, this is where the cold hands of death met you. This is where the wickedness and insatiable quest for vain things decided to leave you afloat. The harrowing grief in my heart surges from the bottomless well of sorrow. You can call me anything you want, a surge, an accomplice, a betrayer. I will answer to that. But I have come to ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. I know it is not easy. At times it is painful than the wound we suffered. But yet, there is no peace without forgiveness. I know that when you drown, your eyes were closed. But your heart was open. I know that you could hear the mountains. And I know that the mountains can hear you in return. As the river is flows, the fishes swim by, as the wind blows. 
Jesus, the birds that fly high. When the sun goes down, the moon comes shining, and the stars in the sky twinkle little stars. When the sun comes back, it brings a new day. 